Hi, this is Nalan Mitchell with Sifty Corporation. We're looking at some Crystal Reports tips of the week, and this week we're looking at embedded queries. So let's go ahead and get started with this. And if you don't know what we do here at Symphony, one of the things we do is we do customized Crystal Report training. We're going to use your data and build reports that you want to build so that um, you're not taking a canned training a CAN training class, but you're taking one where you're using your data, build reports that you want to build within reason, and that uh, the learning curve speeds up. So if you'd like to do that, then you can contact Tom Zadell or myself. Uh, this is Tom's number and um, my number and email as well. We do the training, but also we, we, build, we build crystal reports as well. So if you look down at the archive site, um, this has changed from the past. And um, if you click on that, you're going to get, we're, we're starting to build inventory there so that we'll have the ones that you're going to see today plus others. So uh, you can check the website as well. So let's go up. And um, the purpose of an embedded query is it speeds up the report. If you're hitting a table um, and you're joining tables together, depending on how, much, how many records you're hitting, it could really slow down the report. But if you've got a very complex report, and it's very slow, one of the best things you can do would be to build an embedded query and to use that instead of tables. So what we're going to do today, we're going to create a, a query. And you know, to, to do the query, you could do it in Crystal if you knew SQL really, really well. If you don't, the best thing to do is to use a query tool where it's Oracle, you know, SQL Developer, uh, Microsoft SQL Server, whatever tool that you want to use. You know, create it in that tool make sure that it works, then you're going to copy and paste in Crystal. So let's go ahead and we're going to jump out of here and jump into Crystal Reports. Well, actually, we're not going to jump into Crystal Reports. We're actually going to jump into our query tool. And, and the one I'm using right now is uh, SQL Server. So I'm, um, I'm going to jump in here, and I'm looking at an Info Lawson S3 database. It could be any database you could use on. This is just one that I'm using. So I'm going to go up and start a new query here, and we're going to point it to our, um, our apps database, which has the data we want. And I'm going to grab the employee table. Now, I can go in here and just do the select. I'm going to do the select star from let's go grab our employee table. And you're saying, what's different from this than grabbing just the table itself? Well, right now, nothing. In fact, if I ran this just like it is, I'm going to get every field that's in that table. Or what I can also do is just grab the fields that I want to use. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to execute this just to see what data that we get. So we're getting our data in there like we would if we just hit the table. The thing is, is I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to filter this query, and I'm going to filter the, the uh, query excuse me, I'm going to filter this report that I'm going to use inside the query and not inside Crystal. But the thing is, I can do it in both of them. So I'm going to go over here and find out what the employee status is, which is the last little column over here that uh, I'm looking at. And there's going to be FT for full-time, PT for part-time. So I'm going to go up here to the where clause inside of my select statement here and say where um, imp status. is going to be equal to, and then let's create the FT, oops, the single quote, FT, and make sure that when you do this, it's matching, um, case, it's case sensitive, and the, this database is, some aren't, this one is, so if I did lowercase FT, it's not going to work. So right now, I'm going to go back and rerun this, so execute this. Well, it did actually jump back in, and it came back, and all the data I have now is 131 rows, and it is ones for the FT. Now, I can change this and go further and further where I can uh, filter it down again to where it give me the city of St. Paul, the state of Minnesota, uh, last name uh, is Kirkland, or the employees from 100 to 200, you know, something of that nature. I can filter this as many times as I want to in my, in my query. So, and the best thing to do is filter in the query as much as you can. Now, the th um, I'm going to go ahead and, in fact, um, one of the things we're going to do later on is we're going to show how to build a parameter inside a query. Not right now. That's not this session. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy my select statement here. Now I'm going to go to Crystal. 
go ahead and open it up. We're going to do a file, new, and then our standard report is uh, using a wizard. I'm going to go down, I'm going to grab the blank report, which is just a blank report. And we could have done this using the wizard if we wanted to. And I'm going to jump down here to, I know the server I'm using is the LS3 server. So I'm going to hit the plus sign there. And then I'm going to connect in. Now this is using the ODBC connection. You can use the um, the OLADB, yeah, otherwise is the OLADB connection. Uh, now not the Lawson OLADB connection because that one is not going to work using embedded query. You have to use like an Oracle uh, OLADB or SQL Server OLADB. So I'm going to go here and let's log in to our database. What do you mean log in field? Okay, caps log is on, that's fine, alrighty. Let's try that again. And log on failed. <laughs> Let's try this one more time. All right, third time's a charm. Don't always work on the first time. Now, that's what I love about doing these things, kind of a live session to where you see that when it makes a mistake, it makes a mistake. How do we go fix that thing? And and when you go do a training and it's a canned train report, the data is perfect. It doesn't have mistakes. There's nothing to go fix. You just do the exercises where in a real world, you're going to have errors or you'll have mistakes and it's nice to be able to know how to go fix that. So now it's back up. And so I'm going to go over down here where it's LS server and I'm going to double click on the add command. The reason I said you can't use this OLEDB loss and connection is because when you click on the add command it's going to actually go to the query builder. That's not what you want. So if you use an OLEDB, it has to be an Oracle or a SQL server or a DB2, not um, the loss connection. This is like I said, this is ODBC. So I'm going to double click on the add command. And once I do, I copied my query, and I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a left click here, and I'm going to paste it inside here. So the thing is, I'm grabbing all the tables inside here. Now, if I didn't want all the tables, I could actually change this. In fact, I am going to change this a second because I need to show you how to change it. I'm going to click OK here, and then notice that my selected table is called a command now instead of a table name like employee. I'm going to click OK, and I do the drop down here, and you see the command. Hit plus sign with command. Notice that all the fields in here are the ones that are in the employee table. But the thing now is, is that this has already been filtered where it's full time only. And if I want to go back to that query and change that, I can. In fact, I'm going to go back inside here. I don't want all these fields. I'm just going to grab the fields that I want and that I need. So I'm not grabbing everything. So I'm just select and we're going to grab um, the company field. We're going to grab the um, employee field. And we're going to grab employee status. Oh, AMP status. Okay. AMP status. So those are the only ones we're going to grab. And notice when I execute this, it's, that's the only thread I'm getting here. And I'm going to copy this again and copy it. And I could actually make these changes here in Crystal. And the way that I've made those changes is I'm going to go back to the database field. I'm going to right click on the command, go to the database expert. I'm going to right click on the command here where it says select the tables and do edit command here. And I'm just going to paste it on top of the query I already have. So now I'm just going to grab these three fields that's in that table instead of all the fields and then click OK here and click OK here. And if you happen to put any of the other fields on here, it would just say that there's a field on there that's about to go away and it would have. But now my query is only these three fields. So I'm going to grab all three of these. So I'm going to hold down the shift button and then just grab all three at one time. I'm going to drag them over the detail line and drop them off. Now I'm going to preview this. So there it goes. Now there's only 131 records, 
But I promise you, if I grabbed the employee table and brought these over and didn't put a filter on it and you had about a hundred, couple hundred thousand records, it would take probably maybe 45 seconds to a minute to run. And then if we went in and we uh, filtered it down to grab these three fields or whatever field that you wanted and you fil filtered it down to grab just the, um, um, the full the full-time, part-time, or whatever it is, a lot of times it's A1, A2 as your active employees, it'd probably run like three or four seconds. So using embedded query really speeds up the process. So let's just look at the steps again. Go to a, a, go to a, a, a SQL tool. You're going to build your query here. You're going to copy and paste it. You're going to go to Crystal. You're going to um, open up a new report. You select um, whatever whatever one you're going to, whatever server you're using, whatever connection you're using. Double click on the add command, and then paste your query in there. Click OK, and then uh, the selected table is going to show this command. Now, one, let me show one little tip on this: is like, say you don't want to have command there. If I clicked on it, see the whole box turns blue. But if I take my little pointer and kind of click around the edges. You can play the just for a second. Notice how now the um, box has turned white instead of blue, and the cursor is inside that box. I'm going to backspace over this command and type in employee. So now it's going to look like an employee table. It's only going to be the three things. But if I right click on this and I go to edit it, it's going to go into the SQL, the query, just like it did before. So click OK here. And then now I can drop this inside my report, and I'm ready to go. So let me jump back to our PowerPoint presentation, and we'll go back to this little screen right here. In fact, let me jump to it. I love it when that happens like that. Here we go. So again, you can contact Tom Zidell, myself, and also there's the archive site. And again, we're just now starting to build this up, so there's not going to be a whole lot there at first. And uh, if you have any questions or you'd like to contact me with uh, subjects,